Hey everyone, I'm here at Dollar Tree and I thought I would put together a dollar emergency kit. So um, I picked up a few items and I will go through them once I get it get home and show you what it is that I picked up for an emergency bag. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, I made it back from Dollar Tree and I took this challenge from Homestead in the Hood and she uh, challenged me to do um, an emergency kit from the Dollar Tree, so, or Dollar Store. So I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up several things and um, it's just a starter kit. Stay tuned, I have a surprise at the end, but let's get started. So I found wipes and these are flushable wipes and I, I picked up this and then um, I picked up some uh, wipes that you can wipe your body down with is for you know like in case you need to wipe yourself down and then I found disinfecting wipes okay I picked up a sharpie you never know what you may need to write with or on or anything of that sort. Um, and it's permanent. And then um, mesh bags. You can store things in it. You may have some dirty clothes you need to put in there. And then um, also a mesh laundry bag. So what can you do with this? Well, this you can, you know, put some things in and wash them all together. I mean, it's very useful. You can store stuff in it. That's pretty cool as well. Then I thought of this. I saw this and I said, huh, this is a whiteboard. Well, in a case of emergency, you know, you may not be able to get a hold of a pen and paper and you need to write something down, leave a message or what have you. So this I thought would be, I was like, well, this is a pretty good idea to have an emergency kit instead of in place of a of pen and paper. So along with that, I picked up some scissors because I don't recall having scissors in my bag, but I thought this is a good idea. It can come in useful. Bungee cords. Um, they have hooks on them and you never know, you might need to tie something down or secure something. So this is good to have in an emergency bag. I found duct tape. So yeah, I, I picked up a yeah, some duct tape. Lanyard. Now, you think, what can I do with a lanyard? And who knows what you might need until it's an emergency. So you don't know what you're going to need until you need it. But, you know, it goes around your neck and it has a little the hooks, you know, that you can hook or hold something. You just never know what it might come in handy for. So I thought that would be pretty cool for an emergency bag. Then they have this little lighter stick, which is, you know, it's convenient. And unlike matches, matches can go bad if they get wet or if it's moisture, um, you know, you, you won't be able to use a lighter if it's gotten rained on any, anything of that sort. So yeah, I thought this was a pretty good idea. And then tea lights. Okay, so tea lights. Now they have this, they're already contained in this little tin. So and you can use tea lights to heat up um, uh, food. If you have a, a, a little makeshift thing to put the tea light under, this is what they use for um, food, those food trays. A lot of times they'll have those uh, tea lights or some type of candle going underneath um, as well. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea to have an emergency bag. And I was able to find this Okay, there we go. The light is bright, you guys. So what is this? It's called an eight in one use knife and it's scissors, can opener, bottle opener, a flat screwdriver, corkscrew, nail file, and a Phillips screwdriver and a knife. Dollar Tree, guys, awesome. <clears throat> also, I think a good idea for, um, 
emergency kit is gloves. So these are the all-purpose gloves, reusable. And then they had some nitrile exam gloves. I thought that was a, a good idea to have on hand. Of course, can't forget the tissue. So yeah, they have a, a whole pack of them, but yes, that's important to have. And then if you need to store something or secure something from water or to keep something, you know, bugs out or something, I think it's a good idea to have, you know, uh, storage bags. And these are quart size storage bags. So I think that's a good idea to have. And then, um, you know, when you're in an emergency and you're out and you might have trash or, or you know, there's multi-uses for having you know, trash bags. So these are tall kitchen bags, drawstrings, so they can be hooked on something and used as trash. So I think that's a good idea. What else did I find there? I have a mirror. And I'm not sure if you guys are figuring out where I'm going with this. So stay tuned. I have a surprise at the end. So yeah, we have a mirror and it has two. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Then they have these, they have two multi-purpose cleaning cloths. There's two of these, pretty nice and thick. Great to have. Then I found these little travel bottles. Now, I thought, hmm, you know, you can put different items in here. You can put shampoo and conditioner and mouthwash in these and put it inside the quart bag, seal it up, put it in an emergency kit, you're good to go. So I think that's a good idea to have on hand. And that way you don't have to worry about carrying bulk size of, of any um, liquids. Now, along with that, I found these. Aren't these the cutest? Can you see that? What these are, these are compact towels. So once they're exposed to water, they expand, but they're compact. And that way um, they're easily portable. And then if you need a towel, you just wet it and it expands. So yeah, that's pretty cool to have on hand, especially if you need to wipe something down or wipe yourself up, or if you don't want to run through all your, your wet wipes to do so, or if you have an opportunity to take a shower. So they also had carabina clips. So I got those. And they had some first aid things that I thought could be useful. So they have uh, antibacterial bandages, antibiotic ointment. This here is called Coban. Um, that's the, um, the name of it, but it's called, it's like an adhesive type band. Generally, if anyone's ever had a shot and they take this kind of like, um, tape and they put around and it, it sticks together. It's in the hospitals, they call it Coban, but that's what this is. Then they have some waterproof tape and some gauze. So there was, those are a few, you know, basic um, first aid items. And then an elastic or um, ace bandage, but this is in color. I thought, oh, how cool. Easily found because of color. So yeah, ace bandage. Now to hygiene. We have, I found this tiny little soap. Okay, it was a two pack. You know, that's good to have. Again, you could take and and expand that, use the soap and you can wash up or, you know, one thing about soap, let me tell you guys, you can take and shave the, sh the soap, melt it down, add it to some warm water. And you want to do like whatever one part to about six parts of water. So whatever, if it's a tablespoon, then it's six tablespoons or more, depending because the less makes it thicker and more gel-like, the more makes it more liquidy. You can have liquid soap by using bar soap to shave it down and then use it. I would probably suggest not even six. I would say 10 parts water to one part soap. 
Then they had masks. Remember, I spoke that I spoke on this in my previous video that you know it's not just about the pandemic. There's other things that are airborne or things that could be you know going on around you and that you may need a mask. So that's in here. Something else that I thought was, I didn't think about either. I don't take medication. There's, I'm not on any medication or don't take any pills. But what about having a pill box? You know, put some of your um, medications in here and then seal it up into a baggie so that, you know, not a lot of air gets into it. But having, you know, a pill box might come in handy. And then, of course, I found toothbrushes. And these have covers that go over the head and, of course, toothpaste. And then they had individually rolled toilet tissue. So I thought, okay, put that in the emergency bag. They had ponchos, guys. Now, a nurse, a frugal, home, frugal nurse homestead um, was cracking me up because she had all these ponchos. But... I mean, they can really come in handy because you just never know um, situations that you can face. I mean, we can't prepare for everything, but we can prepare for some things. And then I found this cute little case. I thought that would be cute to put some of the emergency items in, or you can use it for anything to store and put into your emergency bag. And then they had a water bottle. They had different ones, but I found this one. It was... I like the, you know, it was not, wasn't too bulky and big and, you know, it's still manageable. And, um, yeah, you might have water storage, but you may need to take this water with you somewhere. Who knows? Uh, and, and use it to, you know, wash your hands or you can rinse yourself with it. You know, you can rinse down with it. And it's kind of hard to do if you have uh, a 32-gallon bucket or 32 gallon you know uh, of water you can't how are you gonna you're gonna use buckets so you could actually take this and soap up and you know rinse it again and you know so portable guys portable gotta think outside the box here so if you have made it to this part of the video I want to give this away a lot of these items I already have some things I bought duplicate for my own emergency kit. So um, I don't need them. And I thought, wow, this would be a great opportunity to give back, especially to so many people who came over here from Lead Farmer 73 and who have subscribed to my channel. I thought, oh my gosh, my heart is just overwhelmed because you guys are so sweet. It's a great family. The Greenhouse Lounge fam is a great family. So I'm going to be giving away this kit. Everything that I showed you, I'm going to give this away. Now, I don't have a backpack or anything like that. I will be putting this into a box and shipping it. I will leave you getting, you know, anything else you want to add to it. This is just a starter kit. So once you can take this and add on to it or add to what you have, and um, you can get whatever you want to get, a, a backpack or a bag, or if you already have one, so yes, this will just, I'll pack this all into a box and I will give this away. So um, what I will do is I will run this for two weeks and I'm going to put the, um, put the instructions down below of how you can win all these things for your starter emergency kit. So I think I'll run this for two weeks and be sure to check down below the comment section, not comment section, but the additional um, area where underneath the title, you can um, hit the little, there's a little arrow button, you hit that and it drops down and I will put the additional description information of how you can get a chance to win this. And thank you so much for supporting Trina's Organic Lifestyle and hopefully I can come back and give you more. I want to shout out to, again, to homestead in the hood she gave me this idea and i took i love challenges so i took the challenge um nurse frugal homestead a frugal nurse homestead i'm sorry i'm also going to put their uh, information in the description area as well um 
you know, just great. They have At Home with Jen, lovely people. There's so many, 2%, you know, um, yeah, some wonderful people. There's more, there's a whole bunch of you guys. I love this uh, uh, community that Lead Farmer 73 developed and is creating. He's a phenomenal man. He has a beautiful wife. Um, so yeah, I hope that um, you enjoyed this video and you got some ideas for your own kit and that you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now, how much did I spend? I would like to tell you how much I spent. However, I also bought some personal things of my own. So, um, but everything is $1. So if you want to go back and check out everything and count up $1, you can do so. And there was something wrong with the system, so it didn't charge me tax. So I got everything without tax. I'm like, whoo, I need to go back so I can get some more things, no tax. So yeah. So if you want to know how much it costs, just go back into the video and count $1, $1, $1, $1, and then you can pretty much add up everything. But yeah, it's pretty inexpensive if you ask me as a starter kit. And you can just add on from there things that you would like. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye now.